Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft Cold War Tank tutorial. Today we're going to be doing the... What? FV4202 medium tank. Our main battle tank. What exactly is this thing? Because this was like a weird bridging gap in tank development. This is... If I remember correctly. If I remember correctly, it led to the Centurions. I don't remember... I think that was, I think I have my, uh, I think my memory is correct. This led to the Centurion. That aside, what is this thing? Is this a medium tank or is this a main battle tank? What do you consider this thing? I'd say this is probably a medium tank, seeing as how, uh, I think I'm correct to say this didn't see very much mass production. This wasn't really standardized by the British military, was it? I don't think it was. Uh, just, I, like, there's not a lot of knowledge I have about this thing. I mean, I can say that about a lot of different British vehicles. I'm just not very knowledgeable about British vehicles. They're cool. I'm just not very with it. Um, but I'm not really here to give the history lesson. Not with this vehicle, at least. That can come with other vehicles. I'm here to give you the tutorial. Now, you already saw a look around of the vehicle. As you can see, I'm actually um, trying to standardize more the new style of making custom cargo hanging off of the vehicle to make it look a little bit more interesting. Now, you don't have to add the same cargo that I'm adding. Like, that's not a necessity, but I do it just because I think it gives a little bit more life to the vehicle, like the chain hanging off of the bottom of the gun barrel or the sandbags and such and cargo hanging off of the sides. So, trying to standardize that more, but uh, no more talking. We're going to begin with the actual... Uh, tutorial. So we're going to start by having a sideways gray shulker box with the bottom facing outward. So the bottoms should always be out to the sides on this one. In the front we're going to do a stone brick stair with a slab in front of it, then a slab at the bottom behind it. Skip a space one, skip a space one, skip a space one, and then at the back we're going to do another uh, shulker box. And then we're going to do it with all of the open spaces. Go to the rear of the tracks again. Upside down stair, stone brick slab. Then we're going to skip to the side one, two, three, four, then five. Break the other. I am stupid. It's late. One more. I'm recruiting at 120. I know I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm doing it anyway because I'm trying to catch up with the requests. Trust me, guys. I do try to get your requests done. Uh, sometimes. Certain vehicles catch my intrigue more than others. Typically, they're the ones that I come up with on my own rather than doing requests for. It depends on the vehicle. Sometimes the vehicles that I build myself are more... Could they make very interest me more. Anyway, so after doing the tracks, we're going to do a petrified oak wood slab. Is that what I used? Doesn't really matter, does it? Is that what I used? Petrified? What is petrified? What's the difference? Okay, oak wood slabs. Just use them. Like, doesn't matter. There's no su substantial difference, is there? Alright, so it starts between that shulker box and it goes back to the incline of the tracks. Fine. What the heck is petrified wood? Here we go. One, two, three, and then we're going to run it all the way back. Forgive me, I'm new to 1.16 stuff, so I really don't know any of this stuff. I haven't done I haven't done a single 1.16 survival yet, so I don't know what any of this stuff does. Anyway, uh, spruce trap doors. We are going to do three here, and I know it's got to go all the way across. I know. All right, we'll start it here, at the very back. It has just placeholders. We're going to run them all the way up the side here, all the way till they meet up with the ones at the front. Do that at the back. Mildly annoying. Just have to keep crouching and uncrouching. It slows things down. After you've done that, go to the rear. We're going to do three. What else is there? I think that may be it for that lair completely. Well, without aside from the track, de the wheel details. So what we'll do now is take polished blackstone buttons and put them on the shulker boxes. 
I never thought I'd be able to do this with buttons. It's like, thank you 1.16 for letting me do so many more things with these shulker boxes. After you do that, put an item frame on each of the shulker boxes, and then put a smooth stone block in each of the item frames. We're going to do that to the opposite side as well. And then the smooth stone. And we're done with layer one, so now to move to layer two, we'll start at the front of the vehicle, grab some nether brick stairs, set them on top of the tracks. Then we just take spruce planks. I'm assuming we run these all the way down the side. Well, up until the second to last wheel, that is. So, just to do that. By the way, this does have an interior. It's just mm, a little bit underwhelming compared to my others that I've developed recently for other vehicles, which you haven't really seen yet. Let's take spruce stairs and spruce slabs. And we're going to go back to where? You are not aiding me at all. Okay. You can go back. Wait. Reaper done goofed? Okay. I have the memory of a squirrel, honestly. That's not supposed to go that way because of the redstone effect. Stop it! Reaper, you've got to get with it, man. Do that. And then, we're going to take our shulker boxes. We're going to do this again with the rear sprocket wheels. And we're going to do a similar decoration here. Item frame. Item frame. I need the button back. The button goes here. Did I put... I don't think I put anything in these ones. So these are just going to be empty item frames. Unless I did it on one side and forgot to do it on the other. Yes, I did! Hey! I know my mistakes. I know myself. I hate myself. You already knew this. Anyway, uh, back to the tracks. We're going to need to do spruce wood at the back of the tracks right here. I hate myself more! This has to go back! Reaper is sleep drunk, doesn't have his sleep. Needs his sleep, so he's not sleep drunk. Is this just Reaper the musical? Is this what happens? Recording at 1.24 in the morning, Reaper starts singing. Oh, no. Guys, it's over. It's just over. Should I cut this out? I honestly don't know if I should cut this out of the video or not. The comedic relief is nice, but it's also just embarrassing. Jeez. Alright, fix this. There, real rear sprocket wheel is supposed to be this far back. Okay, now that mess is over. Oak wood stairs, and we're going to need oak planks. Three oak planks here, upside down stairs on the sides. Y'all probably laughing at me because of that musical. Haha, <laughs> Reaper, you're so stupid. Yeah, 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 whatever. We all get this way. You know you do too. Uh, at the front, we're going to need our spruce stairs, spruce slab. And we're going to need my sandstone slabs as well. Okay. This is how you're supposed to be doing the stairs. Spruce slab here. Sandstone slab there. Okay. Cool. Dark oak wood signs. I'm gonna wrap these around like this. And go back one, two. Same for the other side. No! No one called you here. Go back. Go to bed. Uh, okay. Cool. We need spruce trapdoors. You know what? We're gonna do the decoration on the sides uh, in a minute. So we're gonna do uh, spruce trapdoors. We're gonna run them down till we meet the till we meet the stair. And then we're gonna continue with the dark oak wood signs all the way back till the sprocket wheel. Not gonna, I'm not gonna confess, I'm gonna confess this. The hardest part about doing these tutorials is actually doing them. I have no problem building the tanks. I have no problem doing the research. 
it's making the tutorials, getting the motivation to do them. Because I know I'm going to mess up, and I know how long these take. That's the hard part about doing these tutorials. It's all about getting the motivation to do this sort of thing, and it can be uh, intensive sometimes. Anyway, just fill up the entire hall with the oak wood planks. And what we'll do now is we'll just do the cargo on the sides. So start with the sandstone stairs. We'll break these two spruce trap, these three spruce trap doors, two upside down sandstone stairs, one bottom placed stair in the center. Take our dried kelp, which looks very nicely like a cargo, and just place two blocks there. And we'll just do two levers off the top. I don't really care about the layer restrictions anymore. I've got to stop butchering myself about that. Otherwise, I'm never going to get work done. Got to keep the stairs. Need iron bars. And, a dra and some dragon heads. Break these. That's going to be cursed to work off of. Let's see if I can place this right off that button. Sick. Placeholder. Place that. Good. Beautiful. I need to these upside down upside down bottom placed correct correct yay happy happy me happy me that's rare place the switches need the iron bars place three here that takes care of the cargo on the sides what about the back we're going to need our polished blackstone buttons we're going to need our le uh, levers and we're going to need some chains we'll place the chains here just one at either end i love these chains by the way one of the best things they could have added in this update absolutely love them they're a blessing uh i guess that's about it for this layer isn't it so now we're moving to layer three i suppose i mean i did say i'm done with the layer restrictions but now follow some kind of order, it does make things simpler for most people. Spruce trapdoors. There. After you, and remember, these are dark oak pressure plates, not spruce, so don't mess up with that. Shaders may screw you up a little bit. Sandstone slab. Do two of them here. Actually, I'll just handle one side first, it's easier. Trapdoor goes there. I'm going to need some polished andesite slabs do three beautiful i'm going to need some granite one two three spruce trapdoor goes there i need some wither skeleton skulls that one goes there and i'm going to do another one over here if i remember correctly i think these are actually the exhausts i wouldn't have done the skeleton skulls there for any other reason i think uh, cargo on the other side is similar. One and the site goes here. And I think the sandstone went here. I think it was like set back one. Yeah. And then we'll just do spruce trapdoors up the sides. No, no one, no one awoke you. Go, go away. There we go. Okay, that takes care of the sides. Now we'll do the front, which is going to be simple enough. We're going to do two birch trap doors there and then three spruce. This is going to be the driver's position, the hatches for him. We're going to take some oak wood stairs, spruce wood stairs, and that should be actually pretty simple. And I'm just going to snag more petrified oak. What is petrified? Someone tell me in the comments what petrified is. Ah. In the corners, we're going to be having more trap doors actually catch those put trap doors in these corners spruce on the sides one upside down here oak I'm just going to do two oak here all the way around making our turret ring although this technically isn't completely the turret ring the turret ring is actually kind of down there you get the idea bear with me please we're going to fill this in because we're going to come back to it later for the interior anyway should be a simple one this time, so uh, shouldn't take too long. Gonna need five black beds, place uh, four in that direction, and then place one in that direction. Place your petrified oak slab in either of those two corners. Word of the word of the video, petrified dark oak slab, nether brick slab. Gonna do five dark oak, and then we're going to do ten nether brick. 
beautiful. And then in order to keep this thing looking interesting, we're doing some barrels. So we'll do a placeholder here, two here, two off to the side. No! There. Good boy. So it's like, I feel like I feel like Iron Man in that one scene from the first Iron Man movie. You know when he's laying there with the arc reactor out of his chest, the little robot hands in the new one? Good boy. Anyone who watched Iron Man, you know my reference. Shout out to any of you who actually grew up watching that Iron Man movie. Beautiful. Shout out right there. Dark oak with signs on the back of these uh, stairs here and on the side. I didn't actually catch up from the last layer. Anyways, I think that's it for layer three. Well, technically not because of the gun barrel, but no one cares about that yet. So we're going to move on to the next layer. Take our smooth sandstone slab spruce slab we're going to need spruce trap doors because you can't have enough dark oak trap doors daylight sensor oh, so many trap doors let's be real the trap door game got a lot better now that you know i've updated and i'm not constantly working with the oak oh i'm so glad to be past that phase of my life anyway place the smooth sandstone right there on the top right in front we're going to do a spruce and then we're going to take our spruce trap doors go forward one two Daylight sensor, shut up, change it. We're going to do a dark oak right underneath. We're going to go forward. One, two, three spruce. Is that it? Yes, okay. Dark oak at the end. Dark oak underneath. We're going to do a lever here, lever here. Oh my goodness, I'm placing it the wrong way again. Right there. Then we're going to do a chain right between. Stop it, go away. I want to roll tonight, aren't I? <laughs> spruce stairs. Come on, guys, reach for something mildly losing his mind. <laughs> Our spruce block right in the center, and then there's going to be spruce stairs on either side. Actually, we are going to need to break that block below because we're going to be doing a banner there later. That's going to be at the end, or closer to the end. Spruce slabs. Uh, technically, we don't have to do slabs. We're just going to do. Uh... We're going to run with it, okay? Uh, what we'll do. You can do just spruce planks here for now until we're actually go until we actually do the interior. If you're not going to do an interior, just do this. Although I assume most of you probably are seeing these tutorials through to the end. I'd hope. You know, I do a lot of hard work for you guys. I certainly hope. Shut up. Oak stair there. Oak plank there. Three more oak planks off the back. I'm assuming the turrets mirrored on either side. It would only make sense, except the British are weird, and sometimes they don't do things symmetrical. Why do you guys do this to me? Don't. No offense to you British viewers, but jeez, you guys have a hard time keeping symmetry. We're doing polished granite on the side here. One block and then two stairs. One of them's curved toward the front. That's going to be the same on the other side. These were a pain in the neck to make, by the way. Such a pain trying to get the right shape. Ugh. Andesite walls. We're going to do this here and this here. Now, technically, on the real FV4202, this has actually a very weird shape right here because that's where the commander's hatch is. And so, since I was having a very hard time replicating that, I just simply hit it, by a, hit it with a spare wheel. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do spruce trapdoors off the back of the turret and then dark oak trapdoor right in the center. Gray shulker box. You will go here. Beautiful. We're going to take. We're just going to mimic this wheel right on the back. I need to get my item frame again. Number one thing I probably go through my inventory for is probably just the stupid item frames. Every single video, I'm always going through to find more item frames. Frames. <sighs> Anyways, that's it for that bottom layer of the turret. We're going to take some polished andesite slabs. Do four here. That makes your commander's hatch. Or so we assume it would be. Dark oak trap door goes right here. I'm going to need uh, iron bars, and I'm going to need chain. The chain's only here because you can't put disconnected iron bars here, so I need this to be a separate antenna because there's three antennas to this thing. Why? I don't know. What is the, What are they all for? Why is there three of them? I don't know. British know. I don't. 
I'm a ungrateful colonial, as you people know. Brown carpet goes here. And for those of you that don't know, yes, I'm an ungrateful colonial. Polished blackstone button goes on this corner of the turret. We're going to need a flower pot, which goes on this corner of the turret. And what am I missing? Am I missing anything? I don't think I'm missing anything. Reaper's not missing anything. Actually, Reaper's missing something, and it's right in front of his face. Dragon heads. There you go here. Beautiful. Happy little dragon heads. Two nice little decapitated ender dragons. No one cares. Now, this is the next step, and that is the banner. And this banner is simple to replicate. So we're going to do that, and we actually have to do two more banners for the British armored markers on the sides of the turret. <clears throat> so, we shall grab the loom. The loom. Goes here. Now, I know I used... I probably used black as the base color. I'm going to need gray. And now we are good. Black banner. Gray. <clears throat> Fun up the side. Fun up the side. Good. We will cut off the bottom half. So. Outline that. And that's. We don't need to cut off the center. No one really cares. Black banner. Now, does this match? Should match. Almost positive that's a match. It seems like it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a match. If not, it's pretty much the same thing. Doesn't matter. Don't need to overthink it. That goes there. Place that back. Don't worry, it won't be black forever. It's going to. If we add some light in there, that'll actually fix that issue. Um, so what, what we can do is if you're not going to do an interior, you can probably just like, you know, break that block in there, replace this with a, sl with a spruce trap door so that it's open air, and then break one block down so that gets exposure to light, but not going to go through that work. You people don't deserve that much from me. We're going to go, <laughs> that was mean, <laughs> red banner. And then I need some white dye. Red banner goes here, the white dye goes here. We're going to cut off the top, cut off the bottom. There's our British armored marker. And now I need, once again, the item frame. Now there's probably people there in the comments yelling at me, Use the item search! No. No, I don't. True skill is finding it. Seeking it out and finding it yourself. That is the true skill of a builder. And that being said, that is the end of the FV4202's exterior. If you're leaving now, thank you for stopping by. See you later. Make me feel bad by not staying and help and you know finishing the tutorial, but whatever, you can go away. Sad reaper noises, ba 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 ba, you know the drill. Anyway, we're gonna move on to the interior. So we're going to go in, we're gonna break down to the bottom of the turret. Doot doot doot, that's the bottom of the tank. That's more the bottom of the tank. Fix that. Go forward. We'll get you back later. Do all of that. That's going to go forward to there. I think that's all I have to break, and then break out these sides. I don't know about there, but we're going to go check out the inside of the other 4202. Again, this one's a wee bit underwhelming. It's a realistic layout, but it's a wee bit underwhelming, so I'm going to need polished andesite. I'm going to need uh, andesite walls. You... Yeah, you stay closed, but... I'm going to need to sneak into there. Oh, you know what? No. I did this for a reason. Aha! That's what I did. So I need spruce stairs, I need the barrels, this is going to be the ammo racks, just knowing my typical style. Polished black stone. Aha. So that does go to the bottom as well. Alright, so we'll slither our way out. Get out. Back in here. <clears throat> that, that turns to that, grindstone needs to be placed sideways, I said sideways, good boy, now what we can do, 
why did I go through all that work? I've just done this. Spruce stairs go there, close this up. Yay for thin British armor, not surprised. Barrels. I'm just knocking British today, aren't I? Break all of this out. <clears throat> Polished andesite goes in those corners. Andesite walls surrounding. Keep going the wrong way. Go in here. This is where we belong, you see. Is that a wall? Yeah, that's a wall. And that apparently goes all the way to the end as well. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Go back in. That. There. Okay. And over there. Because I don't know why I wouldn't make that symmetrical. It's me, after all. We're probably going to have to repair the top of this turret. You know what? What are you? You're a slab. Okay. Go figure. We're going to break all of this because we're going to end up... Hi. We're going to end up fixing all of this just by doing this, except that doesn't go there because there's going to be a gun breach in the way. So we're just going to fix all of those other blocks. And then we'll get the blackstone button back. <clears throat> Place this here. Now what? Going to need the nether brick. We do need the polished diorite, blackstone, more nether brick, blackstone. Were you supposed to be closed? I don't remember. Yeah. Of course you were. I never make mistakes. Never. Shh. Don't yell at me. I know what I'm doing. You go there. You go there. You don't be there. You all go here. Now... Since I got rid of the previous one, I'm just going to snag you. Beautiful. Set that there. Fix this. <clears throat> Go back in. Spruce trap door. Set that there. I'm pretty sure I need a black banner for this space here because I can definitely do that. And I think I may have one there too. I'm not certain I'm going to have to fact check that. It is the age of the fact checkers, isn't it? Anyone who posts anything controversial on Instagram, you know what I mean. Okay, so I actually have to reform some of the inside of the turret here. You are just polished black stone, but what is under here? Aha. Okay. Head in. And the site goes here. <clears throat> the blackstone goes here. Break all of this. Change the shape a little bit. Set that back. That didn't mess up anything on the top of the turret, so that's good. Am I missing anything? I bet you I am. 99% of the time I am. I know that there's a tripwire hook that goes here. Like I said, Reaper never makes mistakes, yet he makes mistakes, yet he doesn't make mistakes. Don't argue with me, my logic is mine, don't argue. Ah, rhinestone. Goes in there, and there's a hopper <clears throat> for the gunner. Cool. Dark oak sign. Let's go figure this out. So you go here. Now how the heck are we going to take care of you? Ah. Yay, the joys of hitboxes. So we'll just place that off the side there. I need you. You go here. You go at that angle. And I don't think there's anything else. So now, all that is left is this little piece of carpet. And voila. FP4202. By the way, these things are annoying and more thunder. I always seem to end up being killed by one from somewhere. Don't worry. Fighting British tanks is just annoying anyway. But, that all being said, and through much of my fumbling and tumbling and 
stupidity. I managed to pull through on this tutorial, and I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you've all enjoyed it very much, as much as I enjoyed building it, because I actually reasonably enjoyed making this vehicle. Aside from the uncertainty about whether or not to call this thing a main battle tank or a medium tank, I'm just going to call it a medium tank because it's a medium tank. It just led to a main battle tank, because people would consider the Centurion. Uh, if you have any vehicles that you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to get to them in the future. I'm not fast about this, please forgive. But I only have so much time in my life to do this, and I only have so much motivation. Again, doing these videos is a bit intensive on one's patience, and always, even though I have a studio quality mic, which sounds like trash typically in the editing, I don't know what's wrong with this thing, I have to kind of figure that out, but this is a pretty good quality microphone, or I just buy a new one anyway, whatever, I don't know. Uh, even though I have this pretty decently good microphone, it always requires me to have a quiet, a quiet environment to, re uh, to record in, otherwise... I can't get stuff done. Anyway, enough of my excuses. Like I said, if you want to see anything, please leave a comment in the description. I mean, not in the description. What am I saying? In the comments. Please leave a request in the comments, and I will be sure to respond to you regarding it. I always do. Uh, if you would like, please go to the description. There are links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and to my Discord server. You can pretty much ignore the, uh, the Facebook and the Twitter because no one goes there to begin with. I'm unloved. But, in the Discord server, feel free to join me and the rest of the community there. Come hang out with us. Bunch of good guys there. Find a guy to play with if you play War Thunder, World of Tanks, etc., etc. Go find a guy to play there. Or, if you want to make your requests in the Discord server, there's a requesting section there so you can be more direct with me about what you're requesting. Or you just get to hang out with me there, because I tend to interact with you people fairly often. Uh, or at least I try to. I like to be able to interact with you people and understand who it is that is watching my videos. I especially love people from other countries. I love getting to meet people from other countries. So, all that being said, I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. God bless you all. Love you all. And I'll catch you next time.